Hey everyone, let's talk about The Garden of Evening Mist by Tan Tuan Eng. Now this is a book I don't really want to talk about too much about the story itself, but more about my reading experience with it. Because in the beginning I really had trouble getting into the book. I couldn't get into the writing, I couldn't get into the story, I couldn't get into the narration. Part of the writing, I don't know why it didn't appeal to me. It was beautiful, it was analogical, it was metaphorical, and it tried to represent through words the garden that we saw, because a lot of it is set in a Japanese garden and connected to gardening and the beautiful views of nature. But for some reason I just couldn't get into it. It felt Stocky. The sentences were just short sometimes and then it was dum 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 and I just couldn't get lost in it. Another thing that made it difficult for me to get into the book was that it's set in Malaysia. It was set in a time during the occupation and emergencies that happened during World War II and afterwards and I didn't have any reference points. For me it was really difficult to really know where things happened, what things happened. I had to look things up while I was reading because I just didn't know where is it, what is it, what, what's going on. This is not strictly a historical book. It uses historical facts and events, but mainly fictional characters. And a rather interesting way, I think, to learn about history. Now, normally when I read books about that time, I do have reference points, but usually connected to the Western world and the Germans. But here the reference points are usually the Japanese and the Chinese and the Malayan. And it was rather complicated for me to find my way around. So that was another barrier I had to cross apart from writing, to get into the book. But that was rather the fact that kept me reading, because I found it very interesting to learn about this time, to learn about the country, and to learn about something which I had basically no clue about. Now, the other part that I found troubling was with the characters and the story itself. We start off in the sort of now where we have this judge who retires and then she returns to the place, to the Japanese garden where she had been in her youth. And a lot of that was just confusing. I didn't really know what was going on, who was who, the names of course were confusing, places and characters and what was referenced. And I really didn't have a clue where the story wanted to go. But then the whole story shifts back to the time in 1951 when she was first there visiting the Japanese garden and telling her story and finding out about her past during the war and her future afterwards and the time that she spent there in the Japanese garden with the emperor's gardener. And that, as the story progressed, got more and more interesting and I really started to like the characters. I really started to appreciate what was going on. So the story takes a lot of time to get to you and to get interesting. But it was so worth it because at the end of the book, I really had learned something historical and I also had learned to like the characters that were mentioned and I loved it. So even though the reading experience was not great all throughout the book, I really am glad I picked up this book and read it because it expanded my horizon and that's what I love about reading, learning something new. So now, of course, I want to know if you have read the book, if you have heard of the book as I hadn't before, or if you want to read it. Let's talk about The Garden of Evening Mist. Thank you all for watching.